These are the pop bris exclusives from Indonesia Diecast Expo earlier this year, earlier this month. And today we are going to do a first impression and check out all three of these particular castings. You heard them right. We I did attend this Indonesia Diecast Expo if you guys have been, you know, checking up on the recent videos that I posted, but for some reason because i've been so busy with work and just so busy with everything i haven't even had a chance to open the car so that's exactly what we're gonna do today we've got three cars here we're gonna start off with obviously the mitsubishi lancer evo right there now before we get started obviously box wise i gotta say it's very nice obviously i do love the way pop race does their boxes and especially this thing here right the kind of vertical drawing if i may right and I just like the way the boxes look very nice. Obviously, we've got the ID logo right there, right? So we can quickly just take out the car. Now, like I said, I have not seen the cars yet. In fact, now this car has been in my shelf. And right now, as we do this video with you guys, I'm actually checking out the cars for the first time myself as well. So this is the Evo 4, right? And let's see, do are there any opening parts? Maybe the hood opens up. Yeah, the hood does open up and it exposes a very nice engine. I really really like that Honda, the Mitsu sorry, Mitsubishi engine right there. Check that out. Details, very nice. Got monster with it on the hood right there. The wheels, they do. Wow, they do actually spin amazingly well, I gotta say. Check the license plate. The license plate looks very nice as well. The single exhaust to the muffler right there. The base is fairly well detailed as well. Which I gotta say, if you guys know these Hot Wheels recently haven't been doing a very good job about it. So I'm I'm really happy they made it that. The quality, I gotta say, is nice. The paint job is pristine as well. Look at the front end. The front end looks so menacing, right? It looks so vicious. I think vicious is the right word. And in a very good sense as well. I Now, not a huge... Usually, I'm not a huge fan of cars with no decals. But something about this is just amazing. I mean, it's even the Evolution 4, Evo 4 written right there on the door seal. That's just brilliant. The interior, an all-back interior. But they've got some details as there. Details there, which is always a very nice thing to see, right? So, now before we dive into the other two cars, I want to obviously ask you guys what do you guys think about this particular car. Leave them, leave your comments or your opinions in the description down below. But I think overall, out of 10, I would say this is a, a, a solid 8 out of 10 for a casting. Now, next, next, I want to move on to this, and this is the Mazda RX 7 wide body. And one thing I gotta say that I really love is the paint job. Now, I know pink to a lot of people it's like a female or feminine color right but i think oh, before we get there but i think pink by itself if done well if done nicely i think it's a nice car right so i'm just gonna leave the box down there for you guys right there no wow yes this is my first impression my first time seeing the car as well wow i i gotta say she's bright guys does the hood open up as well? Yeah, I had to persuade it a little, but yes, the hood does open up and the engine bay here is a lot nicer, a lot more well defined, detailed, if I may. Right, I really like the details on this engine bay and just the way it looks is very nice. If you guys look the wheels, these are almost like silver chrome wheels, right? Obviously wheels this been amazingly nice once again, the front end. We've got a very nice de the amount of details here is insane. Now I, you know, I just, I, I can't really wait. The the best thing about this, I gotta say, is the interior. Because check that interior, the red bucket seats. Oof. I mean, talk about an attention grabber, right? You know, it's, it's something inside, but it's just so bright. And it's easy to, you know, to grab your attention. Right? Attention grabbing. And I like that. I like that a lot. Obviously, we've got a RE Super G on the spoiler. I believe, yep, this is a all carbon, uh, all carbon spoiler as well as an all carbon hood right there. Very, very nice. Border rate, I think both of these are a solid 8 out of 10. And that leaves us with the final casting for the night. I know, no, rather short little video for you guys. And that is this. Now, this is the Pandem Civic EG6. Now, they did have this on display at the IDE. I did manage to see the car, but to have a piece, wow, I mean, guys, I gotta say, 
the earlier two might have been a, in a solid 8 out of 10 casting. This casting, on the other hand, she is beautiful. Wow, she's beautiful, y'all. No, obviously, look at the front splitter. That's a massive front splitter right there. We've got two struts holding the splitter as well. A rubber wing mirror, side mirror, whatever you guys want to call it. Oh my goodness, check that spoiler out. She is girthy. She is massive, guys. Oh my goodness. Obviously, you know, let's address the elephant in the room, the paint job on this. That kind of like fluorescent job, paint job, right? It's just brilliant under the lights. Obviously, we've got a lot of lights set up. Just check that. Open my fingerprints right there. But the oof, the paint job is beautiful, man. I, wow. Wow, I mean, you guys know I'm a huge fan of opening parts. I'm a huge fan of engine bay details, and this is phenomenal, y'all. I gotta say, amazing purchase. I love the way the pandemic is written right there. Even the rear, the Civic right there, the Potenza on the spoiler right there as well. Wheels, let's see. Wheels, they do spin amazingly well. We also have Potenza written on the wall of the tire. Once again, just brilliant, man. And then we've got a single carbon seat or a single bucket seat right there. We've got a fire extinguisher. Ooh. Talk about attention to details, guys. We've got a fire extinguisher right there. I think this is a solid nine and a half. Compared, you know, three cars right here. Let me just bring the camera. Oops, let me just bring the camera down for you guys. We've got three brilliant, beautifully done cars for IDE this year. Now, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this three particular castings. I think, you know, the we started with the Evo 4. That's nice. A very calm, a very nice, very well detailed car. We moved on to RX7, which once again, was a very very nicely done car as well one right and then the fact that you know we can open all the engine base engine the hood sorry and expose the engine bay right that by itself is brilliant. it's a bit difficult for me to open this so i gotta like knock it down which is why i'm not gonna open it now but you know you guys i really love this let me know in the comments what you guys think about this particular casting if you guys don't know we also got the grassy drift extreme custom smiles pad from Indonesia Diecast Expo as well, so you know, kind of fitting, and it's also a, it's also gonna be here for quite some time because I think the quality of this is very nice, and I really want to keep this. But anyways, back to the cars. I think the cars by itself they are brilliant. Massive props to Pop Race for doing this. I I'm really genuinely I'm very excited to see how Pop Race or what they're gonna do in the near future because I think the direction they're going. Oof! I'm super super pumped, super super excited. Three very, very interesting, very different, but very good cast, good castings as well. And I really, really love them, guys. Massive props to Pop Race. Massive props to everyone I met in the Energy Diecast Expo. Also, massive props to, you know, Bjorn Alvarez and Gabriel for spending the time with me once again. But, you know, I really love this particular casting. Let me know in the comments because I know I might be fanboying a bit too much. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I would like to hear what you guys think about this particular cast. But just like I guess this video is over. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.